Hello, my name is Jonathan Jesse with ITS Partners. I want to thank you to, for spending some time watching this video in regards to uh, Altiris 7.1. We at ITS are very excited in, about uh, Altiris 7.1 and this video that you are watching is one of five reasons that we at ITS believe you should migrate to 7.1. The screen that you're looking at right now is the Management Council, the new Semantic Management Council, and that's what we're going to highlight in this video. In fact, one of the best reasons to migrate is the improvement within the Management Council. The screen that we see shows us the first time setup wizard, and it allows us to do a lot of our basic tasks within Altiris. First thing I can do is do Discover Computers to find my computers. I'll then push the Altiris agent out. Thirdly, I can collect inventory on those machines. And then finally, my last step would be if I'm using deployment and deploying my images through Altiris. This screen shows me a quick snapshot of what's going on within my system, my discovered computers, um, the tasks that I have going on, and other different options. However, the most improvement within the council as it regards to speed and ease of use is within managing your system. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Manage Computers. The screen's going to change here in a minute, and uh, you'll see that we have the new council here. This is uh, powered by Microsoft Silverlight. Uh, it gives us a lot of features like drag and drop and a couple other options. What I see right now is the computer section. Uh, this does kind of look like Outlook 2010, so if you're used to navigating within Outlook 2010, uh, you'll be used to using this management console. I have a list of the different searches of uh, my computers that I can see, and I can filter those by. I can view all of the computers that I have security and access to, and then the different options within dealing with those computers. Let's focus real quick on um, my specific computer here. Within the resource manager, we would spend a lot of time to uh, look up different information, such as computer name, IP address, uh, software, etc. Semantic has simplified that by being able to find this within this identification or general section here up the top. So if I click on identification, I'll get serial number, device ID, um, different information that's covered uh, within the inventory of that solution. And you can see I can get the uh, agent details, computer manufacturer, hardware, uh, network, memory, all stuff that I used to have to drill into the resource manager to find, I can now see it um, at a simple click, including all the different licensed software that I have. The next item that we can see about this computer is the jobs and tasks that are built in. I can see all of the policies that this machine has set up, and then also all of the software that's configured within this system. The next thing I want to talk about within the console and ease of use is dealing within jobs and tasks. You can see how it uh, flips nice and quickly. I can get to the different jobs and tasks very responsively, and I can move on with my, my work. Policies, the same, instead of going to manage policies, I can respond to that right within the same window. Uh, the different policies that I have set up either for software, patch management, or inventory. We'll focus on software here in a different video, but this software section has a lot of improvements and has made uh, working within software and software management a lot easier. So the number one reason we at ITS believe you should move and migrate to LTR 7.1 is the council and how much improved it is. Thanks again. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a call, shoot me an email. Once again, thank you very much.